Guess who's back in the house? Hi guys, I hope that you're having a beautiful day. I am so excited that I got a chance to go see RuPaul's talk show live in person. And I have to thank my friend Roberto for um, securing the tickets. And so I just wanna give you an update of what I experienced at the show. Well, hello. Uh, so I want to just get on camera and talk to you about my experience at the taping of RuPaul's talk show, which is actually filmed in Burbank. And uh, my friend Roberto, who I went with, stated that um, this, the, the stage for the actual set was filmed in front of the stage for the talk show, The Real, um, which he absolutely loved because it is Roberto's favorite show. And um, um, our new friend, or my new friend, Roberto's friend, Abraham, drove us there. And um, it was just such a cool experience. So we actually sat for uh, two different tapings of the talk show. And so um, Roberto kind of like left a surprise for us. We did not know that um, you have to walk the runway in order to sit in the audience for the taping of the show. So that was a cool surprise. And whoever has the best sleigh on the runway, um, RuPaul will ask them to actually uh, sashay down the runway, sometimes with him, which is really cool. And so it kind of like um, creates this level of excitement already before the show tapes. And all of the staff uh, were just so kind and respectful. Um, and so that made it an even better experience. Um, and so the guests that appeared on the show um, kind of like out of order were Cory Booker, um, which was incredible just to kind of like be in his presence. It's the closest I'll probably ever be to a Cory, Cory Booker rally. Um, I, I hope that he comes to LA just so I can just kind of like learn more about his policies and his platform and what he will do for the LGBT community if he is elected to president. And his girlfriend, Rosario Dawson, was also in the audience. That was an unexpected surprise. Um, Michelle Fazage was also there, um, his bestie. And Ross Matthews was there for the second taping. Um, Raven uh, came out uh, for a beauty segment, and that was really cool. And her boyfriend was sitting in the audience. Um, Adam Lambert was Lambert um, was also there uh, promoting his new album, which is titled Velvet. And so, kind of during the commercial breaks, they were playing uh, some of his music, and I got to know a lot about him. Um, and he's in a new relationship, and they show pictures of him and his new boo. So that was a cute moment. Um, also, the mother behind freemomhugs.com was there with her son. Um, I believe they are from Oklahoma. Her son um, knew that he was gay and came out to his mother, and she didn't have the best reaction. And so he was getting into a new relationship, and he asked her to go to a pride event with him. Um, she was reluctant, but when she went, she actually realized that um, all of her fears um, were unreasonable about her son. She believed that he would be lonely if he came out as gay. Um, he would probably die alone. He would probably become sick from having a lot of unprotected sex. And what she found was just a loving, supporting community 
And she also heard these horror stories about parents who kicked out their children for being gay. And she created this organization where she receives donations from the community and then she will give food cards, gas cards to um, children of parents who are LGBT, but they've been kicked out of their house for being in the community. And also, she volunteers to go to the weddings of couples who are getting married and their parents have disowned them or refused to come to their wedding. And um, that was just kind of like a beautiful story. And I was so glad to learn more about it because the story went viral a few months ago and actually had read up on it, but it was kind of like amazing to just hear how it all started. There was also um, a couple, one of the guy's names is Ray Vaughn and I actually unfortunately forget the other, um, his partner's name. And so the Rayvon's partner, he was in a relationship for seven years with the love of his life. And he came out to his family and they were very accepting of him. And his uh, previous partner's family actually did not Um, They weren't so welcoming when he came out. And so, unfortunately, the partner died uh, from a freak accident on a rooftop where he fell to his death. The family prevented him from going to the the funeral, and they blocked him from every aspect of the grieving process and so he there was this kind of like wound that could not heal and he uh, was in a very dark place for a number um, of years so in order to heal he created this documentary called bridegroom which details the accounts of the husband's death and how the family treated him after the death And Adam Lambert um, had uh, a role in, um, I believe, the um, either kind of like backing the film or just showing support. Also, um, they have these really cool segments with audience participation for the talk show. And I believe I'm forgetting one of the other people. Oh, um, Jack Osborne also was on the show. And so um, it was really cool to be a part of the preview. Um, I can't wait until um, they go into syndication because I would love to watch the show on a frequent basis. This is like a, I think he said a a three week trial period for the summer. And if they get high ratings, they will be picked up. And so um, I would love for all of you to support this project. Uh, we need to see more black gay men in front of the camera on television. There is not enough representation. And um, who else but RuPaul is just kind of like a great ambassador for the community. He has launched the careers of hundreds of LGBT people and um, I love the fact that um, most of the guests and the people in production are part of the community and so please support this project Uh, you can follow them at RuPaul show everywhere Um, and just to kind of like support this wonderful project And so um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will be posting more videos shortly. Besos. Thank mm-hmm. you.